<laughs> Pharma Life family, here we are yet again with a long Hi. overdue blog. Way overdue. Long overdue blog with one of our, uh, it, well, I'm, I have to tell you the story because it's a really cool story about there really is no such thing as randomness, Wait. even though at the time. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Yeah, this is Kevin. How's it going? But, he, at, but at the time, it felt like randomness, but there is no such thing as randomness. So it's really cool about, you know, the talkings of the laws of the universe and a lot of the things that we talk about here at the Pharma Life. Um, anyway, long, long story ago. short, if I can, because this is a pretty good long one, but I was a school teacher in the northern suburbs of Atlanta. What, what year was this, Kevin? 02? I think it had been 02, 03. Yeah, 02. Because I moved there in 01. So it was 02 or 03. And I was teaching English speakers of other languages, but I'm also certified in social sciences. And the principal calls me in and says, hey, there's an extra sec section of political science, and I'm, I need you to teach it. And I looked at the principal, and I was like, in my mind, I'm thinking, ah, oh, shit. Because, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tree. At the time, I was Holy a liberal, high. you know, tree hugging, you know. And this was like a real Republicansville, you know, you had to really, well, you can't, you couldn't put your personal thoughts in the class. I mean, you, you get in a lot of trouble. And um, I was thinking, oh, man, it was the last thing I wanted to teach. But principal asked me to do it, so I got to do it. And it was a good group of kids, and I'm, I'm teaching away, and, and of course, with my personality, I would always digress. I would always kind of go off into these tangents. <laughs> and at the time... Not you. Yes, Not yes. you on tangents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and at the time, I, I, I was starting to change my lifestyle. It was right around 01, 02 that I was starting to think about changing my, <clears throat> my mind, body, and spirit. And it started with the body, and I started detoxing my body with green juices and fruits. And I just didn't feel like teaching political science that day. And so I started talking about how to the kids, how I was eating fruits and vegetables and I was feeling a ton better. I was actually starting to get rid of my fibromyalgia chronic fatigue syndrome that really plagued me for about a decade of my life. It's like and like Kevin was in the room. And yeah. lo and behold, yeah, I mean by, you know, again, nothing happens by chance. Lo and behold, there's a young man sitting in the back of the room that probably out of any conversation that we ever had that whole semester, that one you paid attention to. Um, why? And, you know, yeah, tell why? us tell us a little bit about why that was Man, well, so significant. I mean, I think, I mean, first of all, I think I missed it almost the first month of school, so I kind of came into it a little late. Um, well, talk to us a little bit about what. why, why? did you miss the full month of school? Um, well, starting back as far as... You were sick, right? Yeah, I was sick. Um, I was actually diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. um, cancer, blood cancer, it was actually in my hip, and previous to that, coming up, it was coming up towards December. I was, um, you know, in basketball conditioning. I was um, basically going to play basketball for the school. I played over the summer, um, but I kept getting hurt during conditioning, and I kept pulling muscles over and over, going to the medical doctors, and finally, after a long, you know, long time, tons of doctors from events, they, you know, they say, oh, you have this disease, whatever. Um, and so I was doing testing, and I was doing tests for at least a month, probably, Mm -hmm. Half of this December through January, finally got a diagnosis on my mom's birthday, which was a little messed up. Um, it's when they finally got it, but school already started. I was getting all these tests done, so I actually missed a ton of school. Um, had teachers come into my house, tell me with homework, science projects. It's kind of it's kind of funny. I get thrown into uh, Coach Calvi's class right here. Coach Calvi. I was also the tennis and, uh, coach. That's why they call me yeah, Coach Calvi. Coach, I coach the tennis team there. Getting too. to Coach Calvi's class, and he's like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" Don't do the damn homework, you know. Go home and eat fruits and vegetables. Go sleep. Go, you know, get healthy. And it's just completely... I was teaching him about all the things we teach here. <laughs> like I was a teacher, but not telling him not to do any of the work. I just like, you know, because to, to me, the, I mean, <laughs> why, the most important thing was this guy to get well. This guy he had cancer, right? And so what am I going to make him do political science? Well, come on, I'm, I want to. I want to teach him to do to eat healthy foods. Get out in the sun to reconnect, to heal himself. And, of course, I was just learning this, too, but I was so passionate about it that I wanted to tell his parents about it. And so, for me, I, was, I definitely – I, I mean, this guy got a good grade just solely – I mean, literally. I mean, he, I mean, I sort of gifted him the grade, but in, in essence, he got the grade on, in the healing, right, in some yeah. of the information that you took. Um, it, what, what was it? Three – I mean, honestly, too, Farmer Life family, I had no idea that I had this kind of. In this was just one random 
conversation, and then of course I had a couple other conversations with his mom um, for his homeschooling, and this is the information that his mom would delineate to him. Yeah. So, so I had no idea that this one conversation in a political science class had the weight that it had to actually change and influence a life. I mean, we all say teachers can influence lives, but I had no idea that this kind of random, ridiculous conversation about me eating more fruits and vegetables and how I felt better would inspire him. And what was it, maybe four years later, it had to have been four or five years later, yeah. Facebook comes out. It was right at the beginning of Facebook. And I get this random email. It says, is this Coach Calvi from Northview High and then the year? Yeah. And I remember thinking, because I had gotten a few of these, and I remember thinking, oh, it's a student, I'm going to blog, you know, okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> block, 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 and, block and I, Yeah, and I, and I, but I sent the email back, and I'm like, I'm like, yes, why? I was curious enough to say yes and why, and he was, and then Kevin, you know, sent a nice long letter say, you know, I was in the, in the back of your class, and you inspired me in that one conversation about fruits and vegetables, um, my cancer's gone now. And I'm in college now, and I'm studying health and nutrition. Um, and what was it? Within 24 hours, we met at a restaurant, yeah, right? Like that, yeah. Veggie Land, at P in Buckhead, yeah. in Atlanta. Veggie Land. Yep, we met we at a vegetarian restaurant. Yeah. yeah, we met at Veggie Land, and then from it's we've been friends ever since. You know, I mean, who cares? I'm 20 years older, but <laughs> you know, I mean, but we we I mean, who cares, right? I mean, friendship should have no age, yeah. and we've been we've, Kevin, been, what, we've been good what, friends what, ever since. What was the process for you and? In the four to five years that passed for getting cancer free, I, mean, I know you did do process. chemo. Yeah. Um, well, coming, you know, I, I basically I come from a medical family, so um, my parents didn't really know anything else. But at the same time, it's kind of funny because my my mom and my uncle both worked for pharmaceutical companies. I won't list the company, but um, mm -hmm. they actually, you know, my <laughs> they, my uncle were, after working for them kind of turned into a hippie, moved to Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> um, you know, starts eating organic food and, you know, mm -hmm. changes his lifestyle completely. Um, my mom just kind of, you know, she eats healthy for the most part, didn't really know much though. Um, and my dad was a paramedic, so it was like, okay, we're going, you're going, if you're sick, we're going to take you to the medical doctor. Mainstream. And so, you know, it was pretty, they basically told my parents, they didn't tell me this till later, which is probably a good thing. They, they told me I had three to six months to live and basically, wow. You know, they kind of scared my parents, and you got to do chemotherapy right now, or he's going to die. And, you know, that's, prob that's probably true, honestly, because I, I, I really I, I believe there's better, I, personally, I think there's a better way to approach getting healthy, because mm -hmm. the medical doctors, they want to, you know, fight the disease, fight the disease, fight the disease, but the disease is just symptoms. Um, and so, you know, they're fighting these symptoms, and, you know, it... It works. I mean, it kills the cancer, but it makes you very sick in the process. Very, very, very sick. Yeah. Um, so in the meantime, my uncle, you know, tells my mom, "Hey, go to this guy. Go to this guy. Go to this chiropractor. Go to this naturopath. Go." I did every ridiculous therapy you could possibly imagine. Um, things that work, things that may have worked, may have not worked. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to tell because I literally did everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the most significant thing in my um, that I felt the most. Um, Healing from? Yeah, healing yeah. and just results from was nutrition. And it was kind of funny. And one thing, one reason his message, I mean, it was so simple but so powerful, fruits and vegetables, you know, change your diet, get the junk out, is because it kept amplifying everything. I, went, I was going to a chiropractor at the time who, like, really stressed everything, get me off the artificial stuff, get me on fruits, vegetables. Um, and he, he even recommended, like, healthy animal products and stuff like that at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but just everything you were saying kind of amplified that and made us like, okay, you know, like, this stuff's working. I'm going to listen to these people. And I kind of, you know, shifted my focus because, to be honest, the medical doctors weren't very helpful. They, my parents kind of, <laughs> it's kind of funny because, you know, they do, to, you know, to find cancer, they, you know, they get you in a PET scan machine. And PET scan, po positron emission tomography, whatever. Um, they basically inject radioactive glucose into you because cancer cells consume lots and lots of sugar. Very anaerobic. They start sucking up all the sugar, and cancer literally gr glows on the screen. And my parents are smart. They're like, so should he not eat sugar if cancer's eating sugar? They're like, uh, yeah, you should probably do that. It's like, really? Come on. <laughs> so refined sugar, gone, out of my diet. They told me to, you know, eliminate salt because of the steroids. But that's really all they told me. They didn't give me any very good diet advice and mm. it's huge I mean mm. for, the body, huge. for the body to heal itself you need to give it raw materials for it to reconstruct itself and build healthy tissue 
But when they do, you know, my mom had um, radiation therapy for her thyroid and thyroid cancer, and they had her consuming massive amounts of protein. So she was eating, yeah. like, yogurt and milk and <clears throat> just, yeah. you know, like, exactly what I would not real, suggest she eat. Real difficult on the kidneys, <laughs> real high-protein high yeah. diets. Yeah. 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 So if they are giving nutrition advice, yeah, yeah I would question what they're mm -hmm. saying, too. Yeah. So, so, man, you know... It's just a cool story, though, right? You got yeah. yourself well off these just random conversations. Mm -hmm. um, and now you're on and, your way to giving and, it back. And now, yeah, let's let's take a look at let's let's bring you up to the you know current. bring up to the current. Um, you you were going to college when you contacted me on Facebook. You were in college, mm -hmm. and some of the cool things that you and I have done, you know, from our friendship, we you brought Kennesaw State's Nature Bound down here, right? Yep. Yeah. And that was a really cool trip, yep, yep. right? I mean, you're talking about these are people. Literally, this trip, this was our our business had just opened. This was, I think, our first or second retreat, right? Yeah. And these are people that had no. I mean, the, I mean, there were bartenders that came to this. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were they were just they were thinking there was just going to be echo adventure. They were going to do hikes. They were going to do tours to oh, waterfalls. Oh, and they did. And they did. They loved it. But they learned. We spoke, and they learned a little bit about how to reconnect. And it was funny because. That group that you brought down from Kennesaw State, mm -hmm. all of them, when they left, they said, "You know, I'm gonna think about maybe cutting down on the beer I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna get a little bit more pre-midnight sleep." It was amazing some of the little changes, and that's all it takes, just a little change. I, I certainly, with that group, I wasn't asking for these, mm -hmm. these huge sweeping changes, but just a little <clears throat> bit here and there. Amazing the influence, right? That that that, that retreat had. I think yeah, what was great people. about that group is. Is it in their future, if they got sick, they could remember yep. <clears throat> that evening when we had our workshop with them? Yeah. I told them and, all that. And, and remember that they have an alternative to Western medicine. Absolutely. I remember saying that. I'm like, you know what? Maybe you don't, maybe none of this resonates right now. And I was like, maybe 10 or 15 years. I said, you know, and I really hope it doesn't happen. But if you get sick, you'll always remember the crazy ball guy who told you that if you walk barefoot, if you stared at the sun, you ate fruits and vegetables that you you could heal yourself. That you your own you are your own self healing mechanism. Um, and they all laughed, you know. So. And you had them doing enough. noni shots. I had them doing noni shots. I did hair, you know, the hair of the dog, morning juices. That was really funny, and the, and everybody really loved it. You know, yeah. you, you make it, you make a little humor out of it because you never you never should take yourself all that seriously. You got to laugh, <laughs> you know, and um, they really enjoyed it. And and you've been back. That was that was the second time. The first time you yeah. came here, there was nothing here. Yeah. Right. There was just the restaurant. Still still putting up. The no furniture. Yeah. We were furniture. We were un, under construction at that yeah. time. So the second time you came down was that retreat. And this is and now third. this is your third time. And talk to us a little bit about now. I mean, so so now no, no longer is it Kennesaw State. So you've graduated with a degree in what from Kennesaw? Um, health sciences. Health sciences. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> very, and now. Very broad. And now this guy here, very soon, in a year or two, is going to be a chiropractor. He's at Life University. Yep. So talk to us a little bit about that. Do you, you're enjoying the experience? Is this what you want to do? Yeah, I mean, I really like it. I actually considered med school, but the philosophy in a lot of cases just doesn't line up with me. And I have, yeah. there's a lot of medical doctors I have a lot of respect for. And, um, you know, emergency care is amazing and all, all this stuff. But it's not, just not what I wanted to do personally. Yeah. Um, but, you know, going back, a chi I give chiropractors credit for saving my life, honestly. A chiropractor, I was actually sent away, um, kind of like shoo-shoo, like quit being a baby, you keep pulling your muscle and you need to stay off of it. Uh, medical doctor sent me away three or four times. When you had cancer? Before we knew before it was cancer. Before you knew we it. knew it was cancer. Wow. And I went to a sports medicine chiropractor and he, you know, just took the time to sit down with me. Hey, how's your diet? What's all, you know, what's da 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 I just went through the points. Oh, you got pain here? Okay, let's take an x-ray. We took an x-ray, big fuzzy spot. Uh, hey, you need to get out of the room. I need to talk to mom real quick. Talk to my mom. Yeah. This is the worst it could be. And it's basically, the worst it could be was a Ewing sarcoma and they would have to cut off my leg. So it's actually, it's a, you know, it's a blessing and a miracle in itself that I had lymphoma over a uh, different type of cancer where I probably wouldn't even have my leg right now. But um, right. as far as conventional treatment goes. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, we did that. And from there, that's how we, you know, we basically went back to the medical doctor kind of forced him to give us a referral to an oncologist, went through all the tests, all that stuff. And then that's when my uncle actually referred a second chiropractor. We went, found him, he started talking nutrition. Um, he gave me a lot of stuff, you know, digestive enzymes, probiotics, stuff to help deal with the side effects of the chemotherapy. And I just had so, I mean, he just 
just the the love and support I got from him and people like you, just you know, nutrition, teaching me how to get healthy and really just like being there for me. Um, you know, that that was just so powerful for me to just have someone who was like a professional but also a friend. Because yeah. I mean, you know this. Um, I mean, shit. When I sorry, but <laughs> when I got diagnosed with cancer, I mean, you find out with you know this. You yep. you find out who your true friends are. I you mean, sure do. I had a lot of friends, kind of. I don't want to say I felt abandoned, honestly. Um, yeah. Hmm. I had a lot of friends, n- not because they wanted to. I think you know, it's freshman year of high school. People just don't know how to cope. They don't know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and people now, it's like, oh, somebody's sick. They're like, oh, you know, they don't. They just don't know how to react. What to do because they haven't experienced it before. They, I mean, there's just so many, so many things going on in their head and right. their head, and they're just kind of scared. They don't really know what to say. Fear. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fear. Straight up fear. But mm-hmm. um. I mean, I found out who my real friends are. Um, what I love just... about you, Kevin, is it's like you've come full circle, and, and I relate to this too. Like, they were a part of your life. You were sick and going yeah. through the whole experience of being sick, and now you kind of want to experience the other side of the coin where you are now giving yeah. care and nurturing giving to people back. who are sick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, you're you making your decisions from your heart. And I, yeah, I try to do the same things you guys do here, you know. I want to teach people everything I everything I I know everything I've learned, and they know they can pick and choose what they want. Um, exactly. Because in kind of what I, you know we keep talking about you know spirituality and stuff like that stuff I've learned over the years I used to be all about nutrition or you know nutrition 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 quote unquote food 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 I got to get this good food in I got the supplement I got to do this this and this, um, and I still it was kind of funny because I still had a medical mindset just with alternative things right and then once you start moving over and over you kind of understand the holistic mindset okay you know say okay this person's sick what do we have to do what is this person missing what do we have to do to get them well to get them to produce healthy tissue because that's what nu- real nutrition really is you need sunlight you need water you need air you know you need healthy relationships you need Very food good. you need all that stuff to holes. produce healthy tissue to produce right. a healthy body healthy mind um, you know and simply just pounding down fruits and vegetables is great but that's not the only thing that's going to get you healthy. Mm-hmm. That's true. You still got a lot of fear-based thought, and you're really angry. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can do green juices to your blue in the face, and it may not shift the problem. Exactly. So, so let, okay. So, what's amazing is that this has come full circle, and you are going to be an unbelievable chiropractor here really <laughs> soon because mm-hmm. of all the knowledge that you have in your head. Yeah. But you also you post articles, and your knowledge is actually out there publicly. Mm-hmm. So, where can people find you? Like a website or whatever, if people like really resonate with you here and then what they want to find you. Um, well, me and a, a friend and I basically have a health website slash blog. It's still in progress, but it's Wellness Mashup. So W E L L um, N E S S M A S H U P dot com. Um, and mashups, mashups, just so you know, collaboration works. Like we kind of took yeah. the best on the internet. And I, what I really did, it's really, really, it has a lot of. I, I'm, I, I live in Atlanta right now, so it has a lot of Georgia local stuff. Um, places to find healthy food, you know, fruits, vegetables, um, even healthy animal products if you eat animal products. Um, I got different resources for all different types of things. Like if you need to find a, a dentist who's a you know biological dentist, you need to get your amalgams out. So many different things that are really idea. I really believe are affecting people's health. Is I post all the resources on there. It's really just for family and friends. Um, but tons of stuff on there. I'm starting to write more and more articles. I'm I'm going to turn it more into a personal style blog. It's got a blog and it's got a few different pages, but we're still updating. Um, we got some recipes on there, lots of different stuff, so people can use that whenever they need or message me from there. Yeah, that's, so. that's amazing. You have a wealth a cool of knowledge story. in your head too. Just you really the last do. two yeah. weeks that you've been here, and when you talk about things, you just you're both of you. Well, just I like talk, shoot I taught out statistics, you, and now you teach. Now <laughs> yeah. you're teaching me. We're paying a favor. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. and that's what life's all about, man. It's, Giving you it's coming around full circle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kevin, much love, man. Yeah, much love, Friend, Kev. always. Love you, bro. Aww. Yeah. Pharma Life family. We'll see you Bye. later. Bye. It's been a pleasure.